अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट क्यू साइकिल क्यू हेयर स्टैंड फॉर क्यूनोन वैन इट इज स्टडीड इन क्लोरोप्लास दिस क्यूनोन इज कॉल्ड प्लास्टो क्यूनोन and when it is studied in mitochondria it is called ub quinone and these two are the electron carriers this is the first point and second point there is a pqh2 pool in thylakoid membrane third point q cycle is important to maintain this pqh2 pool fourth point q cycle is also important for accumulation of protons in thylakoid lumen fifth point cytochrome b6f this is an important one it has three important components one is cytochrome b one is cytochrome f and third is iron sulfur sulfur protein so these are the important points now let's see what happens in q cycle q cycle actually has two half reactions in first half reaction when ps2 releases two electron which are accepted by plastoquinone then it becomes plastoquinone 2 minus at this point of time two protons are accepted from stroma and it becomes plastoquinol this plastoquinol moves to cytochrome b6f complex now what happens at the cytochrome p6f complex PQH2 releases two protons in the thylakoid lumen and it bifurcates traveling of electron in two ways one electron accepted by iron sulfur center then it is received by cytochrome f from here to the electron carrier plastocyanin and it reduces photosystem 1 from this to cytochrome f then to plastocyanin now next electron goes to cytochrome b of cytochrome b6f complex then here it receives plus 2 quinone 
then it becomes plastoquinone minus this semi quinone yes semi plastoquinone now this is the first half reaction now what happens in the second half reaction uh, we should use different color let's see uh, okay so in the second half reaction another pqh2 is taken from the plastoquinone pool and similarly it releases two protons bifurcates traveling of electron similarly moves electron up to photosystem one now the second half reaction electron is accepted by pq minus and it becomes pq double minus at this point of time it receives two protons from stroma and it becomes pqh2 so what we see here that two pqh2 are involved in the traveling of two electron released by the ps2 so overall equation we can write as under that two pqh2 molecules here one pqh2 from ps2 and one is from pool then it becomes 4 protons and releases 2 electron plus plastoquinone minus. This released in thylakoid lumen. Now this is via photosystem 1 travels. Now this receives 2 protons from as we see here and it becomes PQH2 and as we discussed earlier that there are two important role of Q cycle one is to maintain the PQH2 pool and to accumulate proton in the thylakoid lumen so what we see here that traveling of traveling of one pair of electron accumulating four protons in the thylakoid lumen and this is the Q cycle equation. So let's make few complexes of thylakoid membrane. This is PS2 then here we can make cytochrome B6F this is cytochrome P this is iron sulfur protein and this is cytochrome F now plastoquinone and this is the salicylate membrane now plastoquinone receives 
2 electron and it becomes plus 2 q non 2 minus then it receives proton from stroma and this is the thylakoid lumen and it becomes plus 2 q null and it reaches to the cytochrome p6f complex now from here let's use different color from here it releases two protons in the thylakoid lumen and electron one electron goes to cytochrome b6 and one goes to iron sulfur protein electron from this it moves to cytochrome f and from cytochrome f it is received by plus to sign in which gives this electron to photosystem one and at cytochrome b the q quinone comes and it becomes quinone minus this is semi quinone and here uh, let's use another color for second half reaction now here is the pq h2 pool now this pq h2 pool gives one pq h2 and similarly electrons are bifurcated and two protons are accumulated in the thylakoid lumen similarly electron moves to fes to cytochrome f to plus to sign in and from here it is accepted by ps1 so from here electron goes to quinone then from here it reaches to semi quinone and semi quinone becomes q double minus and from here it receives to proton and it forms plus to quinone and here is the q cycle so what we see here that two protons and two protons that is four protons these two protons from ps2 and this two proton from pkh2 of pqh2 pool now two electron in the whole process two protons are released by ps2 and traveling of two electron through plastocyan to ps1 actually accumulating four protons in the thylakoid lumen so important part from this whole discussion that could be taken uh, as two pqh2 molecules producing four protons in the thylakoid lumen two electrons are traveled and one pqh2 is regenerated this is accumulated in thylakoid lumens two electron travels through uh, plus to sign in to photosystem 1 and ultimately to NADP. So this is the whole concept of uh, plastic unone cycle. Friends, so far uh, we came to know that protons are accumulated in thylakoid lumen by two methods one is photolysis of water and second is q 
क्यू साइकिल देर आर टू मैथड बाय विच प्लांट एकट प्रोटोन इन थेलिकॉइड मेम्ब्रेन सपोज वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट प्रोटोन एक्मुलेशन प्रोटोन एक्मुलेशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ वन मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इवोल्यूशन वन मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इवोल्यूशन so what we see that uh, we know that two molecules of h2o when photo oxidized then one molecule of oxygen is released four protons and four electrons are also released so one molecule of oxygen production accumulates four protons in the thylakoid lumen via photolysis of water fine now let's calculate how many protons are accumulated to release one molecule of oxygen when q cycle takes place so we have seen that one pair of electron releases four protons in thylakoid lumen so two pairs now there the four electron will travel so two pair will accumulate eight protons in thylakoid lumen so what we see overall reaction that is uh, now overall re reaction will see that two molecule of h2o will produce one molecule of oxygen then eight because if the four electron will travel then four protons here the total 12 protons are accumulated in thylakoid lumen so what we see that to release one molecule of oxygen 12 protons are accumulated in thylakoid lumen are accumulated in thylakoid lumen so overall equation of uh, photosynthesis now we can calculate the 6 co2 plus 12 h2o will produce c6h12o6 6 oxygen plus 6 h2o so in exam uh question can come that reduction of six molecule of co2 will produce how many protons in the thylakoid lumen or release of six molecule of o2 how many protons are accumulated in thylakoid lumen so we see that 12 h2o will produce six oxygen and we have calculated here that 12 protons are accumulated in thylakoid lumen for the production of one molecule of oxygen so one molecule oxygen 
producing 12 protons then six molecule of oxygen will produce 12 into 6 is equal to 72 protons now we know we know that four protons are required for the production of one molecule of ATP. Therefore, 72 protons divided by 4 protons will produce 18 ATP. Fine. So let's summarize this whole concept uh, like this. PS2 releases 12 pair of electron. Fine. Then it is traveled through Q cycle, then received by PS1. then ultimately these 12 pair of electron reduces 12 NADP into 12 NADPH. Now here 12 molecule of H2O will photolyze to produce 12 protons plus 12 electron or we can say 12 pair of electron plus 6 molecule of oxygen and this is the thylakoid membrane this is the thylakoid membrane uh, here take some another color okay uh, this uh, Q cycle a 12 pair of electron will travel one pair releases four protons and 12 pair will release 48 protons in the thylakoid lumen and this is the stroma and this is the lumen and 12 protons this fine and 48 proton this what they will form 72 protons fine four protons required for the production of one molecule of ATP then 18 ATP and 12 NADPH are the product of are the product of light dependent phase which are further utilized to reduce six molecule of co2 to produce six c6 h12 o6 in dark reaction that we will see we will see later thanks for watching bye bye